the most magnificent stories. This is one of the most magnificent stories. This is one of the most magnificent stories in the Gospel of John. So it made this one of the most magnificent stories. This is one of the most magnificent stories. This is one of the most magnificent stories. A theological master, of course, but also this is one of the most magnificent stories. This is one of the most magnificent stories. This is one of the most magnificent stories in the Gospel of John. I said it many times before. John is a theological master, of course, but also a literary master. And these stories, think of the wedding piece of Cana, the woman at the well, um, this one, the man born blind, uh, this the story of Lazarus. They're so beautifully crafted as sort of icons of the spiritual life. So we're reading a story about an event in the life of Jesus, something that he did. But we're also meant to see at a deeper level, this is a story about all of us. This is the the dynamics of the spiritual life on this world. And this is a beautiful example. So let me just look at a, a few highlights from this. We hear, as Jesus passed by, he saw a man blind from birth. Now, it's a physical condition, yes indeed, and Jesus really did heal uh, this blind man. But think now of blindness in the context of the Bible. It's often used as a symbol of spiritual blindness. What does sin do to us? Well, many things, but one thing it does is it obscures our, our consciousness. It distorts our vision of things. We might be able to function very well, you know, in the political and economic order and all of that, but if we're sunk in sin, we are blind to the most important reality. 